Hello guys and welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to show you how I built this plasma discharge chamber. Basically to get plasma you need vacuum and high voltage. So I started with this old coffee machine chassis in which I drilled a hole to get the vacuum line through. The nipple is sealed with hot glue and it seems to hold up. This is the first vacuum test. I made the gasket with a rubber tube that I closed into a loop. For the high voltage you can use a spark plug. I'm using this thing, I don't know where it comes from but it just needs to insulate the inside from the rest and to hold vacuum. I removed parts of the chassis because I wanted the spark plug to be in the center of the platform. Then I just hot glued it in place. I scratched the paint to expose bare metal to be able to connect the second electrode to ground. Then it's just a matter of connecting both electrodes to the high voltage supply. For that I used a microwave oven transformer. And already with that setup I was able to try the first plasma. Well, that looks promising. Now I need to make an actual grid. For the inner grid, I used some nichrome wire that I wrapped into a coil, then formed into a sphere like this. For the outer grid, I used some grid I had laying around. I formed them into a cylinder, then bent the tips over to form a dome shape, like so. I also took the time to make a better and safer attachment for the high voltage electrode. And instead of a magnet, I used solder to connect the chassis to the outer grid. To sum up, the equipment you're gonna need to run this experiment is a fridge compressor which also works as a vacuum pump, a high voltage variac, in my case a scariac, that I show you how to build in another video. This will enable you to increase the voltage slowly. And along with the vacuum chamber, a microwave oven transformer. For the wiring, you plug the microwave oven transformer into the variac, which itself is plugged into a wall outlet. You plug the compressor to the vacuum tube and the two leads that come out of the microwave oven transformer to the chassis and the central electrode. We are now ready to make plasma. You will note that all the equipment present here was either free or built from scratch. In 
And there you have it, a beautiful plasma. It would be even better with an actual vacuum pump, but at least mine was free. That's the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe for more videos of this type. See you next time, bye.